Hi, my name is Natsumi and I'm half Sri Lankan, half Japanese and I was born in Sri Lanka. When I was little, I was the shyest person there was. I was so shy, I wouldn't eat in front of people. I would always watch myself and I think it was when I started modeling, I kind of developed a persona that enabled me to become more confident and more outgoing than I really was. It became almost like an unhealthy obsession to maintain myself. In the end, I just thought, you know, this is better for me if I give up something that I was never truly passionate about. When I first moved to Adelaide, my parents thought that it would be better for me if I was in a residential college. It was a great experience, I think, living with a hundred odd people. But I think I'm much happier living on my own just because I felt like I was too old for this sort of college lifestyle. And my parents were reluctant, but I just thought it would be good for me to move out and learn to be independent. I have come to realize that I've had sort of a princess lifestyle because especially coming to Adelaide where people are so different here with how they've grown up. I do know when I say I have a driver and I have a helper and a gardener and an electrician slash plumber, people just sort of go, hang on a minute, what? <laughs> and so it, it's made me realize that I'm sort of used to a more privileged lifestyle, I guess. We are in Corin. It's about five hours away from Adelaide. And um, we're at the Peachy Ricci Railway. Good, how are you? What are you doing? Well, I'm going to apparently be on the steam engine that's right behind me. And we're going to do a few trips up and down. OK. Have you been preparing all morning? Well, we started at about 6 o'clock. We're just about to light the fire, so you've come at the right time. Oh, great. I think it's more or less the appeal of knowing that steam engines were in my grandfather's generation and the fact that you can see it nowadays in the present time where you have like, you know, magnetic railways and stuff. These are rags that we've cleaned the locomotive with. They're saturated with oil and grease. We now pour kerosene on them. It's really neat to be able to see what goes on behind the scenes instead of seeing it in the olden movies. So, from here, we just start feeding the wood. Okay. I'll do the little piece. <laughs> I'm hopefully going to, you know, man the steam engine and be the whole, I guess, it's the word captain for it. There we go. That's sort of, you know, I think my main goal and it'll be really cool to see it actually in motion and just know that I was part of the whole sort of first step, I guess, of it. Yeah, Natsumi, would you like to help me do some oiling up of the engine? Sure. Okay. All the moving parts in the engine need oil okay. so that they'll move freely. Yep. One more. I think it's fantastic that there are people who are actually interested enough to come down here and spend time doing it. I guess it would be like a hobby that people would just go the extra length for. Okay. You don't have to be nuts, but it helps because, yeah. uh, I mean, why would you get so dirty, work in, in an environment which is potentially dangerous? Why would you get up at uh, half past five in the morning <laughs> but it is the thrill of being able to run a steam train. It's the thrill of doing what you've always dreamed of doing. So the, the little boy in me never grew up. <laughs> this is your efforts from your uh, earlier fire this morning. The pressure's uh, increased, mm -hmm. and we've actually now put on about 12 shovel loads of coal. So we'll just need to um, put another load in to keep things moving along and get the pressure. I think uh, I actually enjoyed the hard labour part and I just enjoyed learning all about the sort of little mechanics and the little gadgets that make it run. Now, in one swing. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> and I thought oiling was hard. <laughs> you know, you, you take things for granted. You think it's just a simple, you know, throw a coal and the whole thing goes, but there's a whole lot more involved. We need to go into the locomotive to make sure that all the running gear is uh, in the right place. Um, it's like giving the locomotive a roadworthy certificate before yeah. we take it out. Okay. So we look at the brake blocks. Yeah. These, these are the things... So the railway, I think, has been around for over 100 years. The fact that it's still up and running and they're able to get these big things going is really great. Is everything clear out your side, Matt? It's clear. OK, pop on the whistle. <laughs>
The railway is maintained by volunteers, people who come from all walks of life. And they all have a really great sort of passion for restoring, maintaining, and just learning all about the locomotive. This is your hat and your badge. They're very important. Thank you very much. So as car captain, what are my duties? What do I need to look out for? Pointing out points of interest for people. All aboard. They're not only older people, but they're younger people as well. It just shows that anybody can get involved and, you know, your contribution helps a lot. Uh. Being in the carriage was much different than being in the actual cab, but it was great because you got to meet the car conductors. There was a little boy who was as young as nine years old training up to be a car conductor, and he was so knowledgeable. It was great to see that the knowledge just keeps passing down throughout the generation. over at the wool shed where you get some refreshments and you get to meet some of the other people. So one pie and one lady was telling me that she was a wife of one of the guys who's working on the locomotive. So it's like a family thing as well. Well done. Good job, ladies. <laughs> Everyone gets involved and they're all a tight little community. It keeps it going. Yeah. And those folks here are hot. Otherwise, let's go. <laughs> so on the way back, I got the opportunity right up in the cab and I really couldn't turn it down because it's nice sitting in the carriage, but you don't actually see what's going on and how much work goes into moving this massive thing. Might not be cut out for this without my overalls. <laughs> it was almost humbling, you know, because you sort of respect the machine all the more for doing what it does. <laughs> Definitely makes you sort of not appreciate modern technology like the, you know, magnetic rails, bullet trains. I have no love for them anymore. <laughs> now I know that Peachy Ricci Railway is a great place to go to and the fact that they also train people okay. up, whistle, whistle. I think that's a great volunteer opportunity and it's something that I would definitely pursue in the future if I could. <laughs>